Good morning, makers. It's time again for another MakerCraft Live. If you're joining us today, we're going to be making some flowers using some toilet paper rolls and uh, Q-tips and painting them on some paper. Uh, so what you're gonna need today is you're gonna need one to two rolls of toilet paper rolls, empty. And you're gonna need about five to six or seven um, Q-tips and a rubber band. Um, those are going to be our painting tools we're going to use for most of today. You're also going to need something to act as your palette um, that is non-porous, which means it doesn't suck up all the, the paint. So you want something like maybe a piece of tin foil, uh, a coated paper plate like this is, or some, something plastic so it doesn't suck in all the paint. Um, you're also going to want to make sure you have some acrylic paints, or if you want to use watercolor, you can do that as well. Um, we're going to be using regular acrylic, and then I have a pair of scissors here. So the first thing what you're going to do is we're going to um, get our tool ready for um, on the paper towel roll to make our flowers. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take your scissors and you're going to cut a straight line up from the bottom there. And what you're going to do is you're just going to go around and you want to make sure it's kind of evenly spaced. You can do small strips or you can do fat strips. Just make sure that they're nice and evenly um, spaced apart. But what you want to do is you want to make sure you cut into your paper towel like this. And you don't want to go all the way up. You just want to do about an inch to two inches into your toilet paper roll. And now you're going to do that all the way around until you get something like this. Once you've cut it all the way around, you're going to fold the little fringe that you've made back like that. And you're going to have your tool ready to go. Now what I like to do is I like to have a small fringe toilet paper roll and I like to have a little fatter one. Um, and you're going to see why I do that once we get started. So once you have that made, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take a few Q-tips and a rubber band and all you're going to do is you're going to rubber band them together into a small bundle like this. And you pretty much have all your painting tools ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off today with on black paper we're going to make some daisies. So I have that ready to go. I'm going to get my palette ready. I'm going to give my paint a little shake to make sure all the paint is all mixed up. You want to make sure you do that with your paint because sometimes the water liquid that's in there can separate and it makes your paint chunky. So a good shake to make your paint nice and smooth. All right. So once we do that, we're just going to pour our paint into the middle of the plate here. And then I'm just using a big paintbrush to kind of spread out the paint. Because what we're going to do is we're going to dip our toilet paper roll into this circle area. All right. And you don't need a lot. You just need enough to cover the, the area uh, of your um, toilet paper roll. All right. So once we have that done, I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm just going to draw some stems. And this is just going to give me an idea as to where I'm going to put my daisy or my uh, dandelions because <laughs> we're going to be making dandelions today. And you want to kind of make it really thin. You don't want to do too much on there. All right. So once we have that on there, we're going to take, um, I'm going to take the bigger fringe one first. And what you're going to do is you're going to stick it in your plate and you're just going to kind of swirl it around, make sure you get a lot of paint on there. I'm going to need a little bit more paint because it dried up. All right. Just spread it out. Now, I got this idea because my mom is currently thinking that she wants to become an artist. <laughs> Every day she's been trying out different kinds of painting techniques at home because we need to put artwork on the walls. So this was one of her ideas and I said I'd use it for one of these videos. All right, so once you got all the paint on there, it doesn't have to be fully coated. You're just gonna kind of figure out where your stem is at and you're gonna press it down here. Now, take it away and it doesn't look like a whole lot, but we're gonna go and spin it around a little bit. All right, I'm gonna fill it up with some more paint. 
I'm going to go over here. All right. And that kind of gives us a basic shape. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the smaller one the, with the smaller fringe on there, and we're going to dunk that in some paint. All right. So once you got that, we're going to kind of match it up. And this is just going to fill in the area. All right. So now that we've done that, we're going to put a little bit more paint on our plate here. And just spread it out a tiny bit because we don't need a whole bunch for this part. But now what you're going to do is you're going to take your Q-tips, your, your pack of Q-tips, and you're going to dip it in the paint. And what we're going to do is just lightly touch it into the center. And then we're going to take it and we're going to go all the way around the outside, very lightly. And it kind of gives it the effect that some of the pieces of the dandelion are kind of floating away. So you can do this with different sizes. Um, I did a little bit longer for the, this one, but I have shorter ones here that we can do. And it gives it kind of a different effect. Or you can put in some larger ones with some bigger ones. So we're gonna do it with the smaller uh, tubes here. A little bit more paint. All right. And just play around with it. It's not always going to be the same each time you do it. It's always going to be something new. Now that we got that, we're going to draw our stems. You can even put some leaves on there if you want. And then we take our Q-tips. Now, you can do this with white on black paper, but you can also change it up and do it with a set of colors. So we're gonna do it in colors now. All right, so I'm gonna get a new plate. And I'll wipe off my paintbrush. And when you do colors, you kinda wanna start with the lightest color first, and then work yourself to the darker color on top and then finally use an accent color, which could be a different color or it can be like um, a really light color to set it off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do shades of blue today. So I'm gonna start with this one. And we're gonna spread it all out onto like about a circle shape. I'm gonna go with the smaller uh, toilet paper rolls too. That seemed to look a little bit nicer today. All right, take my fat one first. And then we're gonna go to our next color. It's a little bit darker blue.
And then we go to the next shade. to get mixed up really well. Now this one, I'm only going to do a little bit of it. And then I think I'm going to use this as the stem color. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I have a little bit of a metal looking type of paint. I'm going to use that. That's going to be my darkest color. And then if you want, you can use an accent color, but I think I like it as it is. So now all I have to do is I have to take my Q-tips and I'm gonna stick it in the metallic paint. I'm just gonna dot it very lightly. And you can do this with a ton of different colors, different types of um, patterns or groupings. You can lay it out. Uh, there's a ton of different ways that you can do that. Um, the next one uh, we're going to do is we're just going to make um, kind of like a, a very full uh, flower, kind of like a lilac. Um, I'm going to use the blue um, just because that's what I have here at the table today. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use this teal color, teal color blue, as the stem. So I have enough extra paint there. So I'm going to just go like that. And you just want to do really thin, thin stems here. And then you can put in some leaves if you want to. All right. So once you have that set up, then we're just going to do kind of what we did with the dandelions. We're going to start with the lightest color first, and we're going to get darker as we go. All right. So all we're going to do is we're just going to kind of dot these until like a little bushel like that. layer done. Now we're going to go to the darker blue. And you don't have to do a new bundle of uh, Q-tips each time. Because you're um, kind of in the same family, you can just uh, put the paint on top of it and it should work just fine. Now this looks really pretty when you have like purples and reds and pinks. It looks really, really good. But I like the blue too. This blue one's turning out pretty good.
We have our teal green. Finally, we have our metallic paint. Now this is a fun activity to do with the whole family. It's very quick. Yes, it is a little bit messy because you are working with paint, um, but you can get some really cool looking um, artwork out of there. Um, play around with it, take some time to see how it works. Um, and definitely if you decide that you are going to do this type of artwork, remember to share your photos with us so we can see how you guys are doing. Um, that's it for today. We hope you guys are having a good week. Um, this week is also uh, Earth Day happening on Wednesday, so share uh, with us any stories that you have and how you're going to be celebrating Earth Day this week. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Have a good one.